So a few weeks ago, I showed you guys this Polygon Syncline C3. This is a budget version of an XC carbon bike. And I think that this bike has a lot of potential. But the one thing that really surprised me about it was the weight. This bike weighed a lot. I started looking at this bike and trying to figure out exactly what was causing all this weight. Now I think one of the biggest factors comes down to the tires and the tubes. These tires are not foldable tires, they're wire bead tires. And traditionally, wire bead tires are pretty heavy. So I think that if we take these things off and then go tubeless, I can save a ton of weight. But I've also got these really lightweight wolf tooth grips that I wanna try out. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love the way these wolf tooth silicone grips look. The simplicity of them with no texture to them at all, but they're cushiony and grippy at the same time. And not to mention, super lightweight. Under 80 grams for the full set, that's pretty crazy. Now for the fun project of going tubeless. I really hope that these wire bead tires are easy to get off. In the past, wire bead tires have been a nightmare to actually get off the rim but I'm crossing my fingers for these that they're gonna be a little bit easier. Whoa. I've never broken a Park Tools TL1 tire lever. Let's try the TL 6.2 has metal. I am completely blown away by how much weight I've saved by going tubeless with these brand new ground control tires and the wolf tooth grips. That's a total of 2.36 pounds, which is absolutely crazy. I can't believe that you can save that much weight on tires, tubes, and grips. I went ahead and I went down to Arkansas, down to Bella Vista, and I rode the Little Sugar Trail System. That is an XC style trail system which I feel this bike is really designed for. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of that footage and see exactly what I thought while I was on my ride. So I can already tell you these tires have made a huge difference in the way that this bike feels on a trail and I barely put any distance on them. 
having a wider tire, you feel so much more confident. You don't necessarily need a skinny tire to go fast, as long as the tread pattern's right for the style of trail you're riding. Now, if you're not familiar with the Little Sugar Trail System, it's a vast trail system that has a whole bunch of interconnecting trails. The main trail on the outside is called Tunnel Vision. We wound up riding around 13 miles this day with a total elevation of 1,700 feet gained. It's definitely a very, very big and hilly trail system, so be prepared to do a lot of climbing, but also get rewarded with some fun downhills. Guys, I couldn't be more impressed with these ground control tires. They were perfect for that particular trail. And I think for the trails that I have in my area, these are gonna provide the grip and the comfort that I've been looking for. So if you guys have a Polygon Syncline, definitely do a tubeless upgrade first with foldable tires. These ground controls are definitely awesome. Now these wolf tooth grips are so comfortable. I absolutely love the simplicity of them and how they feel and just the overall aesthetics of them for an XC style bike. However, I do wish that these were lock on. I contacted wolf tooth and said, hey, do you ever plan on making these a lock on style silicone grip? They came back and said, you know what? We're gonna get with our design group and see what they think. So hopefully that's a product that we see in the future. But now that I've done this upgrade, I wanna do some more. So let's have some fun with it. 